I was speaking um, earlier on racism. And this is Mother's Day. Kai Mills have entered the uh, elite club of guys that don't have any mother. This is my first year. And I don't think of the negative. I think of all the positive. I was born never as a Bohemian. I was born as British. And because of my pigmentation, they call me not a British, but a British subject. And people like the prime minister of this country was born like that. He was born in an era that when you see white folks, white is right, black get the hell back. It reminds me of the court system in Abaco. I'll talk about that later on. The court system in Abaco, it is good for the whites, but boy, destroy a black, the blacks. And especially if you're a talkative black like I, the court system in Abaco is meant to silence you. And I studied this black man by the name of Hubert Ingram. We're talking on black on black racism. And I asked um, a Guyanese, of all people, I had a Guyanese friend. And I asked him, where do you think Hubert, those get this type of racism from? He said he got it from a prime minister from Guyana. He told me the name. Say Guyana had gold, was the envy of the Caribbean. But what the Guyanese did is the same thing that Hubert does do. He got his people believing during the election that he meant well and he was going to do well. Soon after the election, you can't come and see him. He keep you holding on to this little straw and making you play head games with you, making you believe that he's going to do a project, making, he, making you believe that he cares for you, and election after election, the same promises, the same promises. I saw that black on black racism. They talk about the white racism. It ain't half. The white man will do more for you. In my lifetime, the white man of Abaco has given me constructive criticism. The black man just beat down on you and report you and put you before the authority. That's the black man. The white man will tell you and give you option. Kai, you ought to do it this way. Kai, this is a good advice. Kai, come and let me talk to you, but not the blacks. An example, Hubert Ingram. And I keep saying Hubert Ingram, I'm angry because I bought into that philosophy that Hubert Ingram did to us like the Prime Minister of Guyana did to the Guyanese. All the gold he destroyed, everything was for him and his family. Remember, Hubert Ingram came from a humble be beginning. Hubert and I have kind of with the same humble beginning. But he don't want nobody to disturb that legacy. He knew and he understand who Kai Mills was. And he kept one foot on my back every time I try to do a project. And he phone speed you. And then he would say, okay, this one said that, that one said that. So you have to understand, as she got older, how brutal and destructive Hubert Ingram was. I would see people come, all the projects going south and elsewhere. And I would call and ask these people, I say, are you all a bohemian? How did y'all know about this land? This is way inland. How did y'all say so we flew over it? We flew over the land. We mapped it out. We carried it to the prime minister and he gave it to us. I said, y'all ain't no Bahamians? No. I said, wow. Baker's Bay. I could talk about Baker's Bay for ages. The best thing to have ever happened in Abaco was Baker's Bay. 
but the leaders of the country destroyed Baker's Bay. Not that brute called uh, Dr. Livingston Marshall. We know he's a black bugger. We know who Livingston Marshall was. But there was a government. I think the only government official, I'm not sure, but the only person that had power that didn't go to Baker's Bay was Fred Mitchell. Fred Mitchell saw what they were doing to the blacks, and he refused to go to Baker's Bay. Everybody else, FNM and PLP, piled up on Michael Melman jet like they never seen a plane before, flew to Abaco, got to Baker's Bay on the illegal transportation, the illegal ferry service for years. Did they go there to get, to get a project for the Bohemians? Did one prime minister ever went and had a meeting with 500 people from Baker's Bay that Baker's Bay say if they join a union, they have to leave. In this country, they threatened the Wakers because they already had the prime minister paid off. What do you think the 25 million that they gave Brent Simonet and Dr. Hubert Minister, the prime ministers, while Minister Brent egg out a $25 million deal for him and the sitting Prime Minister. While sitting at the table, it is a danger to a country when ministers of the government is self-dealing, giving themselves a contract, therefore, Bakers Baker sent 500 home without any recourse because the Prime Minister and the richest man in Parliament, Brent Simonet, already split the 25 million. So do you think they give a hell about you? No. Back to Hubert Ingram. Long time he hated on Abaco. You imagine that a guy that never voted for himself in his life, never voted for himself, cannot brag about having one millionaire in the whole of North Abaco by projects. But I bet if you would have Scotland Yard and the CIA come here and investigate Hubert Ingram and Perry Christie bank account, ain't no way they can't see jail. That is what we need in Abaco. That is what we need in the Bahamas. New blood. New blood. These guys, blacks, have held blacks down in a black country for over 35 years. Only people benefited is their sweetheart, their loved ones, and their children. Ask Hubert Ingram where his daughter is waking. Ask Dr. Minnis what has he secured for the Bahamian people. Higher taxes? Can't tell you where to work money? They came to power because of the same thing that they're doing today. They said that the PLB was stealing, hiding the truth, was not transparent in their government. Look what's happening now. After going through a hurricane and COVID-19, the people of Abaco don't know how much money has been donated. They can't see where the money is going and where is the VAT money. Where is it? On Mother's Day, there's some mothers that are hurting in Abaco that lost everything. Only thing they escaped with narrowly is their life. The government, whether the prime minister know it or not, I know it's hard to talk to Dr. Minnis, but somebody please, on behalf of Abaco and Kai Mills, let this prime minister know that he's only a servant, only a servant of the Bahamian people. He's only a servant of the people that need him the most.
That's Abaco and Grand Bahama. The question is, is he serving these people? Or is his ego continually getting in the way? Nine months in, I don't know what you call it. You can't bury your dead. And no blacks could put in no projects. No black could get 300 acres. Abaco Club get 350 acres. Bakers Bay get a 250 acres. Going a three and a half million a lot. They do not have the same bright place that I do. But yet, they got more than most behemoths could dream of. And they got it in one year. We haven't got it in a lifetime because the prime minister knows were brought under this British regime that we got to wear a wig and a gown like girls in court. Why are we still wearing a wig? Why are we still wearing a gown in 2020? Because that is what the white people do in Britain. So we want to be a part of that exclusive club and want to act and to be seen as equal to the white man in Britain that don't give a hell about the Bahamas nor the prime minister. When are we truly gonna be independent? I blame us. We elected two men in the same law firm for over 30 years. Shame on us. We are to blame. How the hell was that gonna work? It haven't worked. But we keep electing Hubert Perry, Hubert Perry, until they destroy this country in the means of seven billion. When Penland left, our debt was never a billion. But Hubert and Perry put us a hold for seven billion and they sold everything and there's nothing to get that seven billion back to pay it off. Two guys in a law firm has showed us a color, red and yellow. I got some people in Abaco, they wouldn't wear yellow clothes if Jesus was to tell them to wear yellow. We got some now and they wouldn't wear red. And they be in the college. There's a college educated fools would not wear no yellow, would not wear no red because it's represent PLP and FNM. And after going to college, they ain't got nothing to head to represent the degree and sense. <laughs> it's Mother's Day, buddy. Kai just getting warm. You're live with Kai on Mother's Day when the voice racism in this country is blacks hating blacks from the highest post as the prime minister. If there was white people like Betsy from Life with Key was in that trailer, she would have been buried already. But because they're black and they look like me, they don't come. So leave them in the trailer. Nine months in, they're still in the trailer on Mother's Day. That is why we in the Bahamas and from Abaco cannot celebrate Mother's Day because our mothers are still not buried as a Christian. They are still locked away because the most honorable prime minister said, let the niggas stay in the trailers. Niggas will not be buried until I say so. Kai Kiss, you lie with Kai.